Hazel E. confronts Monique saying, oh, cut it where you're at, in your mama's attic. People who live in log cabins shouldn't start fires. And then Monique responds. That was sad. Because there are quite a few points where I am confused. Like, my son's father has not said anything about any of this. He probably doesn't even know, to be completely honest. He didn't say anything about their child. He hasn't said anything at all, to my knowledge. At all. Not even in my text message. Um, to everybody like, oh, he doesn't even fuck with her. Me and my baby daddy are cool. We get along great. Um, our son is happy and healthy. Three, I didn't address anyone's family members, so don't address mine. Four, Hazel did call us gorillas. She did say we couldn't pa pass a, pa a brown paper bag test. She did say we were ugly and we were jealous of her complexion and her eye color. Like, that was something that is a fact, you know? And so I addressed one factual behavior, um, and that was that. I didn't say anything about her as a person, her as a mother, her as a daughter. Um, I also have never abused my child. I never physically abused any of my partners. I don't even like Hazel. But when that whole situation happened, I was on her side. Champion, champ, lobbying for her. Champ, um, championing, however you say it for her, in the comment section. Liking comments in support of her as a as a DV vic, as a you know DV victim. Um. But you still said what you said though. So, you know, um, I get it, you know, put up a united front as you should, as you're supposed to. That's your baby mama, your ex-wife. You better, you know, champion for her.